Attempt a Critical Appreciation of the Poem Hawk by Keiki Darawala. Marks 10 to 12. Answer. A police officer by profession who has gained first hand experience of a violence torn society, Keiki Darawala is known for his true presentation of the quotidian evil happenings in the modern world. The basic imagery directly relating to the animal world, his poetry often brings in the contemporary ugliness in society. Hawk is one of those poems by Darawala where he uses animal imagery as powerful weapons to project the psyche of mankind who has lost the warmth of heart and does not care for the pangs of others. The poem presents the brutal sport of hawking where a hawk is victimized for people's own pleasure in the name of sports. Darawala vivifies the cruelty of man with the help of mixed metaphors and we see how the hawk is ensnared, blinded and its vision is perforated. Using the device of dramatic monologue, the poet intensifies that situation wherein the bird suffers from modern man's heartlessness. The first two groups of verses in the poem set the background of the theme of hawking which is almost a ritual among well-to-do people. Darawala delivers the picture of the bird with its natural behavior and movements with the help of powerful figurative language. As for example, the phrase a rapist in the harem of the sky is a powerful metaphor that speaks about this predatory bird. We get a perfect picture of the animal world from the images used by the poet extensively. However, the images supply the idea that the hawk kills its prey only in need of food. By bringing in ideas of almost primordial offenses like parricide, a new thrust is given to the fuse of his hate which is burning and will explode. But he was lost in the momentum of his own gyre. A frustrated parricide on the kill. The fuse of his hate was burning still, here is revealed the undercurrent, the promise of certain doom. Lines, 6-9 in the third and the fourth stanzas, Darawala details the cruel art of hawking in a way that touches the heart of every sensible man. He writes, When snared in the woods, his eyelids are sewn with silk as he is broken to the hood. In the final stanza, which is a dramatic monologue, the reader sees how the hawk aspires to appear as a black prophecy in the moth-soft cocoon of death and will dive down to its ruler. The monologue delivered by the hawk speaks of the tyranny done to him by mankind and finally it will be the cause of death for the tyrant. The final lines are quite significant as they capture the rise of a spirit of revenge. The poet puts into words an imagined sense of certain doom, retribution in the forms of the hawk's projected revenge, trained for havoc. When the doves will look up at the sky for rain during drought, there will be the rain of hawks. The hawk's promise to hover like a black prophecy and to weave moth-soft cocoon of death gives us metaphors of the grim rites of dying. Death is seen as enveloping, a visible mantle waiting to smother life. The poem also reminds us of another poem hawk roosting penned by Ted Hughes, the modern English poet. Both Darawala and Ted Hughes see a retributive energy in the non-human world unleashed by man's own cruelty. Like Hughes, Darawala closes the poem in an equally powerful way. During the big drought which is surely going to come. The doves will look up for clouds, and it will rain hawks. Finished. Please subscribe to the channel for more updates of ready-made notes on English literature. Also, please share this channel to help any student pursue a degree in English literature. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please do not forget to like and comment.